Hi guys! In today's video, we'll be giving this Fashionista Barbie doll a makeover. I really like the Fashionista's line because of the diversity in both the faces, the hair and the body types. Specifically, I really like this doll because of the hair. Starting with a little comparison, here's first how the doll looked before I started working on it, and then you see it after I was done. I went for a somewhat semi-realistic look for this doll. So, let's get started. The first thing I did was to remove the head from the body and remove the permanent hat that the doll came with before removing the factory paint with acetone. Give the face a wash and cover away the hair, then you're ready to prime it with the Mr. Super Clear Spray. I did three coats, and then I got out my watercolor pencils and my chalk pastels for the repaint. Firstly, I used a light brown pencil to start mapping out the eye placement, trying to get them even on both sides. And honestly, symmetry is something I really struggle with and it takes me a long time off camera to adjust and just trying to get things to look right. So if you guys think that's hard, just know you're not alone. After the eye placement was on there, then I went straight in for the eyebrows and blocking them in quite heavily because I wanted someone with defined eyebrows, kind of like if they'd drawn them in. Then I block in white for the teeth and the eye whites. And white is one of the colors that you really need to build up in multiple layers to get it to go really opaque. I wanted my doll to have a lot of freckles just because I think it is very very pretty, especially with people with red hair. So I added freckles all over the face, defining some of them to make them stand out a bit more. Now that all the basics was on the face, then we could start defining things. I added on a pretty thick eyeliner because again I was going for a makeup look. Adding lines and creases, for example, above the eyes is really something I think that brings the dolls alive. On for shading and blushing and highlighting, I used different shades of chalk pastel. I built up the shading slowly, going from a medium tone to a slightly darker tone, very slowly because I don't want it to end up looking too dramatic and patchy because I didn't want a like totally contour look. For an initial very soft highlight, I used this light skin tone. I 
I also added a pink tone to the cheekbones. I went over some of the freckles again to make them stand out so they weren't too muted against the shading. And then I was happy with the first layer and I sealed the doll again, let it dry so I could work on top. I then repeat a lot of the steps from the first layer to build up the color and just make it more sharp. I like shading both the iris and also the eye whites of the eyes to make it look less flat. I added a slightly harsher highlight this time by using white. Once I couldn't build up any more color, I sealed the doll again. In the final layer, I used a watercolor effect of my pencil so I could define the eyelashes, at least the top ones, very thinly, and also make the highlights of the eyes. Once you're happy with it, give it the final seal.
Now onto the hair, I really wanted it to be curly, so I started by brushing it out. Then I used some small wooden dowels and twisted the hairs in strands around it and securing it with hair ties. After that I poured hot water, then cold water on the hair, trying to not get it on the actual face because I don't want to do any wear and tear to it because it's not as permanent as the actual factory paint. And then you just let it dry. Once the hair is dry, you just untangle all the curls and slightly comb it with your hands. And finally, I put the head back on the body and added lace to the eyes. And that's it! So here's a little recap of what the doll looked like before. And what it looks like now. I'm really happy with how this doll turned out, so I hope you guys like it too. Thank you guys so much for watching, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in a new one real soon. Bye!